reviews. Today is Thursday the 12th and I got a day off. This is just my messy workshop but I'm slowly tidying up. Some extra lighting in here so it's uh, a bit better so you can see what you're doing around the place. Uh, lots of stuff to sort out and get rid of and blow up and whatever. Uh, it's one of my very I have still under repair. I soldered the new uh, wire onto one of the sliders. The springs had burned out and uh, I'll as well show you. Stand by. What happened, the previous contact wire unsoldered itself from the bus terminal which goes to the uh, cab wash here. Which means that the two little springs it's pushing is in place for carrying all the load current and uh, went soft, hence less contact, arcing and a fail. This little bracket has these two springs pushing underneath and these two springs were carrying 10 to 20 amps which they didn't like of course. See the two holes where the springs are fitted and I'll put them in place. Two springs sitting in there and then this bracket sits on top of the two springs and uh, applies pressure. But by um, my wire unsoldering itself from the brass terminal all the current was flowing through the springs and uh, stretched them out. The variac is still okay, that's the important part. I'm just gonna put my main YouTube uh, power meter in a uh, nice control box and uh, put a couple of relay contactors in it as well. So I have a remote control option. These step drills are awesome. This one can go up to 10 mil, the other one goes up to 20 and it has different sizes of the step drills. They are just great for if you want to drill careful, uh, nice holes in plastic or aluminium, lighter metals in general. So now I can get the uh, decoupeer zag to cut this uh, meter shape out of the casing. Carefully cut out, and I'll use a file for minor adjustment. I just thought I'll use one of these devices, Black & Decker symbol. Final result doesn't look too bad. The meter is uh, cut out and uh, yeah, they'll fit in the box. No, some space for a couple of buttons. Well, I got all the devices in the box, contact uh, the meter and uh, main switch in the on off buttons. And uh, I need to put a couple of LEDs in there. So the device works well. Main oscillator on. On, off. Yeah, no receptacle here and the plug can go in. So that's my galvanic or my uh, yeah galvanic brake. Have a clean up. I got too much crap floating around at the moment. This is just a little car port, microwave, some TVs and the cover. There's a TV at the fire and the computer monitor. Two microwaves. Another TV, and I got this TV. I may try to vent this TV, which we had the smoke bomb in one day. That's uh, got the big hole cut in it. And then I got the car full with computer, old stereo, which is broken, and other monitor, and a couple more TVs in the boot. TVs, power supply, another microwave, I got it, and, and computers, and some old radios and shit. So viewers this was the TV it's a, I'll drill the big hole in for the smoke bomb one day now we're gonna pop the tube just vent it carefully again I got a 12 everything is on DC 12 volt battery for the digital emitter 12 24 volt option for the filament and another 12 volt battery for burning uh, the glass melting the glass I put only three turns on it Hopefully the turns won't short. The filament is already glowing. I think. Let's have a look. Here it is. Very crude jumper lead. Switch to copper blades touching so I can tap it on and off and control the primary current through the Nikon wire.
Oké, okay, filament van 12 volts. Dat is this brightness. And now we're going to put it on 24 volts. I'm not measuring the current on the filament, but it works on 24 volts. And we're going to apply the additional uh, DC to melt the glass and let's see what happens. There's some plastic shit on there, so it needs to burn off first. Should get a good thermal stress in the glass, hopefully. Oops, I got some fire in there. Just pulse it, I don't want to burn my things. Oh, DC is great. Narcom is doing pretty well. Oh, something burned out. Ah, it's an open circuit. Nice. The filament still glows. Oh no, it may have gone too. I can hear the tube actually venting slowly. Tiny little leak in there. Ah, spot again. Forty six um 
pants. Top. Get another piece of this part. Vented, not electrically, but just Westy style. We're sitting at about 62.6 ampere. Fucking bloody engine, something playing around with a boat. Ah, that will do. 